Welcome to the very basic uh, introduction to Zite Now. Has anyone heard of Zite Now? I know Abigail has because I, she kind of went through this presentation yesterday. Okay, well, so for those who are not aware, Zite Now is really just here to make your deployments faster. Um, okay, so a quick introduction for people who don't know me. My name is Sterling Chin. Um, you can find me on Twitter at serverjaw82, um, and then also serverjaw.com, which was done on site, uh, as well as if you also don't know me through Overstock, I am the emoji master. I have well over 150 emojis now at Overstock. It's kind of sick. I get that. Silverjaw.com. Silverjaw.com. It will not work here. Ah. Because Zite, so Overstock's firewalls break, like if it's Roku and other things, it breaks down on Zite as well. So you can look it up on your phone, um, but just not on the network. Okay, so who is Zite now for? Uh, Zite is really for developers who are looking uh, for, of all levels, developers of all levels, looking for a simpler deployment solution. Um, to be clear, this is nothing more than a front-end uh, deployment. This does not do back-end at all. So as long as you have, a, as long as you're hitting with an API, um, this will take care of all of your front-end front-end needs. So here's the problem. Okay, so problem is deployments are typically overly complicated. Okay, we've got Jira, we've got Web Control, we've got Asana. You've got all these different all these different moving parts and a lot of times somewhere in that something breaks and then oftentimes in some other one in, in other solutions it's everything is kind of black magic like it's under the hood you don't see what's actually happening so you have no idea whether it's failed or how it's going um, you know how where in the process it is okay so what is Zite? Zite is a CLI tool for, for easy deployments. And it's literally just this. You, you uh, CD into the project that you're working on, you type in now, answer a couple questions, and it runs through the entire build process. So the rest of this presentation, I'm gonna really just give a, a very um, high level overview of what Zite, like the whole deployment process, um, how you can use it on your personal projects, um, and then, uh, we'll talk about, uh, we'll open it up for some question and answer. Okay, so here are the pros and cons. The pros. Zite is, it's pretty easy to use, okay? It's fast, okay, and it stays in the terminal. Now the cons, it stays in the terminal. So depending on who you are as a human, as a developer, some people like a squishy UI, other people prefer be working in the terminal. I like working in the terminal myself. Um, the options are not always in view, uh, and there's a little bit of a learning curve uh, when you are dealing with everything straight out of the UI, or straight out of the terminal. Okay, so I'm gonna play this video. Let's see if I can get over there. Cool. All right, so, this video is just a small deployment uh, from Create React App. This is my Zite presentation. Um, don't worry about reading everything that's going on. The one, the, pre the slides will be available after. Um, but this is just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. Um, after typing now, you'll be prompted to answer a few questions. Then once you're done, the CLI takes over. Um, and you'll see in here that it's just starting to uh, is starting to run the entire build process. So there are three types of deployment types that Zite will handle, okay? The first one is a static HTML and CSS file or static HTML and CSS uh, website. Um, nothing more than just that. The next is a Node.js and that really encompasses anything that's got a package JSON. So that's basically what we all do with JavaScript nowadays with React and everything. And the other kind that's brand new is Docker. And this one's really cool. I've done a small, sim a small sample project on that um, that uh, I can link out as well um, if you guys want to run that one. It allows you to run an entire Docker instance inside Zite um, 
And the cool thing about Zite, pro tip, the best part is that it automatically changes from one type of one type of deployment to another without having to change any configuration. So if it's a Docker, you have a Docker.js file. If you've got an if you've got a package JSON file, it'll read it as a package, it'll read it as a node. If you have neither of those, it'll read it as a static HTML. So what we're seeing here on, on the video, in the last two minutes, I have run an entire build process and we are now successfully deployed. That's really how quick the deployment process is. There's a couple really cool things about this. It'll tell you how big your packages are. It'll tell you, um, it'll give you some uh, brief insights into your, um, into your actual, um, your actual deployment. Okay. So during the deployment process, if you, if you take a look, you'll see that it'll paste a zite dash presentation dash some numbers dot now dot sh. Uh, it'll cop, it'll paste that onto your clipboard. <clears throat> this is, this will take the name of your pre, of your project. So yesterday, Abigail and I uh, deployed her personal project um, up to abigailthielen.com. It would, it just automatically, it just pulls the name of your project and then appends with some letters. So you don't always want to show, you don't, don't, you don't want to send Zite presentation, blah, 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 dot now, dot sh to your, to your people. So what you can do is you can alias. So this is where now alias comes to the rescue. Um, very simply, you take this, this code <laughs> snippet, which is, the, which is on your clipboard, you're gonna type in now alias, paste that, and then the next parameter it takes is the, is the URL that you want it to go to. So if you have your own domain, if you have silverjaw.com, for instance, you just type in silverjaw.com and it'll automatically redirect. And this is what it looks like. And this is, again, all from the terminal. So um, it's assigned it, it's deployed it, and it just shows you success. Uh, Zite-presentation.now.sh now points to this deployment. So uh, for those who are not here, and for those who are here um, with us, um, if you go to Zite-presentation.now.sh, uh, obviously not here at Overstock since Zite is, causes issues, You'll actually be able to see all of the all of these slides and a bunch of the other resources that I'll share at the end. Okay, let's look at configuration. This is so. Let's say you purchased, you have your own domain, um, Silverjaw.com or Abigail Thielen or Kenny at you know Kenny.com or whatever. Um, you bought it either through Namecheap um, or domains.google.com or however. What you can do is we're gonna I'm gonna show you really quickly. Let me get to this video. Uh, we're gonna go through this. Uh, this is how to point uh, the DNS service to um, Zite, and this is through uh, this is through Google. So what we're, what you're doing. Um, with Zite's DNS, you're going to get the host names. You're going to grab the IP addresses, um, and I like to also grab the IP6 addresses. Um, and those are the host names. Scroll down and just follow the alias documents. Um, I actually already showed you all of that, so uh, this video is a little older, so I apologize. This is me trying to not live code as well as. I've realized Zite does not necessarily always work here at Overstock. So if you were to buy a domain on uh, Google Domains, yeah. uh, they can't see the screen. Oh, they can't see the screen? They can see the side of your head. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Who doesn't want to see the side of my head? <laughs> um, is there a way to... In Zoom, you should be able to share my screen. Yes. How do I share my screen? Anybody? I clicked on that. 
Oh, hey. Okay, can, I think you guys can see it now. Sorry, I apologize about that. I did not know you guys couldn't see it. Thanks, Andrew, for catching that. Okay, um, so where was I? Oh, uh, Google. So on Google, if you were to uh, set your domain or set the DNS servers, let's start that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna just uh, use your custom name servers, change them all to a.zite.world, um, and then in your registered hosts, you're gonna put the host name, the IP4 address, waiting for my mouse to get there, <laughs> and then the IP6 address, and you're just gonna add those by click on the add button. Um, okay, well, by the looks of how intense everyone is looking, you're all thinking, I really need to do this for my own personal projects. I can see it. I helped Abigail do this yesterday, so I'm glad you guys asked about how to do this. So there's, there's a couple ways. First, you can download the app if you, by going to uh, zite.co and download their, they have kind of a squishy CLI or a squishy um, UI that just goes into your top bar on your Mac. And then the other one is by using NPM and just going going npm install dash g now. This will install all of, all of the bash commands that you need to do everything. Okay, so what I wanna show you, so I wanna go to look at some of the resources. So here, um, the, next, the next one is I'm gonna show you the resources. So here is, uh, Zite.co, um, and the, their documentation is fantastic. It'll show you everything you need to know about deployment, as well as in here, in your own personal uh, dashboard. Let's see if I can get there. Uh, it'll show all of my deployments uh, over the last however long. So the cool thing is if, you're, if you happen to be running any side projects, Okay, we're developers, we typically know someone who has asked us to make them a website or something to that degree, right? Um, this allows you to make something with Create React App with any other application you want and you can see exactly when they've been deployed and in real time. And then, here is uh, the presentation I, I built or I did all of this, I just made a Create React App. Um, uh, I'll send the link out on this, but this has all my presentation slides as well as some of the other resources and links to my Twitter and um, my own personal website. Uh, you can see there. So with that, let's go back to the presentation. Please don't make me start over again. Okay. All right. Questions? Q&A, any questions on any of this? Well, my personal side is running engine itself. So. <laughs> Here's that. So when you're running your build, can you have things like tests that run, like run a test suite and have it like fail out or? Yeah, so what you can do with anything that's in your, uh, it'll, it'll read your package JSON. So however you, it'll look for yarn, it'll look for it like the yarn deploy. So if you're running yarn deploy, um, and you have a test suite that you're going to run with before everything, it will run all of that and it will let you know if it's broken or not. Cool. Um, the cool thing we did yesterday, uh, Abigail and I sat down and did all of this. Um, we're, so the one thing that I, I failed to mention, I forgot to add this to my, to my presentation. The cool thing is if you, once you, when you start now, and it will says, it says the URL is copied to your clipboard. You can actually go straight to that URL and see where it is in that process. So if you have people who are questioning saying, hey, why isn't this deployed yet? 
uh, if they go to that URL, they can, you can see everything. So if you don't even have your CLI open, you can, do, you can see where it is in the deployment process through the, through the uh, um, uh, browser. Anything else? Any other questions? Well, I have a question for Abigail, because I helped her. Like, how easy, like, what were your thoughts on it yesterday after I showed you? Um, when you just said a type now, and then I did it, and I was like, okay, what's next? And you're like, oh, that's it. It was really nice. <coughs> I make changes real quick. So, I like it a lot. Cool. Yeah. Can we watch you deploy something to web control, please? <laughs> web control. Web control? You can't deploy web to web. Oh, I thought you said we could use this for web control. No, no, no. I'm saying a lot of times deploys. deployments are 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 really com like complex. So here we've got you've got your you've got your we've got the Jira tickets. You've got web control. We have to deploy your static your uh, side elements and all of that. Whereas for our for us, if we're building like small side projects or your portfolio website or anything else. Zite now is a really good option. It's more at the personal level and small business level than it is at the corporate level, like what we're doing. Um, I wish we could do that, and, and they they're actually opening up more options. I've been in contact with the Zite with the Zite team, and I know that they've talked about going to a business setting or going into business with this, but not yet. Any other questions? Anyone want stickers? Anyone want candy? <laughs> I mean, I brought it here. I got one. You got one. <laughs> All right. Well. Okay. Now go. Uh huh. Got that? Pun intended. Now. Uh, make some awesome maps. And. You're welcome. I have a question. <laughs> yes. Do they do HTTPS? So yes. Did, so. Yeah. So they'll do the HTTPS. They do all the certificates. Um, you, there is some configuration if you on some other resources like Docker has some it has some weird configuration issues where sometimes the HTTPS doesn't work. Um, but I think site now is like the team's working on it. So. so. Hmm? Any other questions? There's plenty of apps that need to be more that student team. What? Is that the proper way to pronounce it? Oh, did he I don't know. I just say Zite. Zite, Zeet. Every so every every place that I've gone. Yeah. Every, so when I was at the Framework Summit a couple weeks ago. The, the one of the presenters did a very similar presentation, and she, they all called it Zite. So, and the joke the joke apparently is it's you can deploy Zite now. Zite, yeah, that's you see see where that you see where we went with that. Well, where are you posting the slides? Um, so I'm gonna post I'll post the slides. Uh, it's on. The, so I'll put it on. Uh, I'll, I'll put it out on Twitter. It'll also all of it will go through uh, my Zite presentation. Now. Sh. Oh, actually, one thing I failed to mention. I forgot to. I forgot to tell everybody. So you can deploy Zite at zero cost. So you can have a, They have business options for you. So if you're running more bigger projects. But you can have unlimited uh, an unlimited number of instances where you go, you know, this project dot dot now dot sh, and it'll show up. So it allows you to test things in real time. So that's good enough collateral. Cool. You're trying to like make some Okay. That's true. I can write tests. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Little nervous. <laughs> you did great.